Hello everybody and welcome to Scalable Scripts. In this video you will learn how to create authentication using Vue.js. The backend for this video is done on Laravel and you can find the video on our channel. In this tutorial you will be able to use Axios to send the data to our backend. This is the third part of our Vue.js authorization tutorial. Let's start with it. Now that we got all the data we need to post our data to our backend. To do that, we need to install another package called Axios. Write npm install axios dash dash save to save it to our package.json. Axios is a package that can be used by sending GET and POST requests to our server. Now that is installed, let's import it and use it. Right here, import Axios from Axios. Now let's use Axios to post to our backend. Axios.post Now we need to write the URL of our register endpoint. http slash slash localhost port 8000 slash register And the second parameter is the data parameter that we need to send in our backend call. Data in our case. Now this is a promise and to wait for the promise to resolve, we need to type then. And for now we'll console log the response. And when an error happens, we need to catch the error. For the moment we will just console log the error. So this is basically how Axios sends POST requests. POST to this endpoint with the send parameters, then we wait for the response here in case an error happens. It will trigger this catch. Let's try it now on the browser, open the network and now create a test user. Let's click sign up now and you can see that we got an error because the email has already been taken. Let's create another user with another email. Type sign up so the data has been sent successfully and we got back the right response. If we go to the console, we can see that the console log happened here with an error. that is triggered here. And this other console log is triggered here, because the response was successful. So this request works fine. Now let's do some refactoring. First, we don't want to type localhost port 8000 every time we request a URL, because we know for sure that every request will have this prefix. So let's cut this code for now and create a Axios configuration file. I will call it axios.js. Here let's import Axios from Axios. And write Axios default space URL equals to URL that we want. This means that every URL that we request will add this prefix. Now let's import Axios or the configuration that we created here. Import Axios.js We don't need the parameter because we are just importing the folder. So this is basically it. We now do the request without adding the prefix. There is also another refactoring that we can do. It is by using a sync and wait keywords. The newer version of JavaScript now supports the sync and the wait. They are extensions of promises and they will make our code look much more nicer. Let's try it now. To use them we need to add a sync in front of this function. This tells that this function is a promise now and has a call that needs to wait. 
which is this one. Now we don't need to add then and catch here, so we can remove them. And this can be switched with await in front of Axios. So let's create a variable response, which is equal to await Axios, post to the register endpoint with this data. So this is how we get the success response. Let's cut this code here to make it more readable. So our code now looks much more nicer. Let's console log the response. And try it out on the browser. Let's create another user. Click sign up. So the registration works as expected and works successfully. If you go to the console, you can see that we are still console logging the result, corresponding to this line here. So I would prefer this way instead of the traditional way of waiting for the promise.